Hey everybody, I just want to thank you all for being a part of uh, the weather page that I have on Facebook. I really appreciate it very much. Um, in the past week, it's gone crazy. Um, I have over 100 likes on the page and uh, just in the past uh, three or four days and we've gone well over a thousand now. So thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, really, there's there's two things that I do with this website that I, are important to me. One is I want to be the first to warn you about potentially large storms. That doesn't mean they're predictions. I always try to alert you first. I want to be the first one to let you know that there could be a big storm coming, whether it's snow or whether it's a hurricane or whatever, but obviously mainly snow is my, my forte as far as weather goes. So I want to alert you immediately. Secondly, I want to get it as accurate as possible, obviously, like any good forecaster would want to do. So that's why I've been telling you over the last two days that a large storm was coming, even though that the local media was downplaying it, which I think was a mistake. I think it's better to warn people ahead of time. Uh, just think back to last Sunday when nobody was warned about the ice and we had a 60 car pileup and fatalities. So I think it's important that people know what is potentially coming. That doesn't mean it's a forecast. It doesn't mean that it's definitely going to happen. And Yesterday, off and on, we had uh, models that were changing their tune a little bit. Some were much bigger storms, some were much less. Uh, I've looked over the data today. I've been spending the whole day looking over the data, pretty much. I'm sure my wife Amy's real thrilled about that. I haven't done a lot of housework over the last couple days, but uh, she knows it's an important storm. But um, looking over the data, looking over the models, it does look like this storm is going to come more west, uh, and it looks like it's going to be a very strong storm. I want to give you, I, I've written down, because I could never keep this all in my head, of, of what I see right now and my prediction for this storm, and it's going to be very large. It's, it's going to be very, very large. Um, this has a lot of potential. There, it's going to be a very cold storm, so the ratios of, uh, or the fluff factor, if you will, is going to be very high. Usually, the rule of thumb is one inch of liquid equals uh, 10 inches of snow. In this storm, it's probably going to be closer to 12 to 1 or 15 to 1. It's going to be very cold in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So right now, the, what I'm looking at, and I'm going to start with DC, I think DC is looking at about 2 to 4 inches, but there is the potential for more. If the storm digs a little bit more to the south, if there's rapid intensification, and it comes closer to the coast, and yeah, they might see more than four. They could see six. They could see eight. Just depends on how much. But right now, I would say two to four. Baltimore, I'm going with three to five. I think Baltimore's got a little bit more potential because they are further north. Um, the further north you go, the better shot you have of seeing some heftier snowfall. So three to five for Baltimore. For southern Delaware to Cape May, six to 12. I think, um, again, it's going to be because you're a little bit further south. And... Uh, with uh, Delaware a little bit more tucked in, not quite as out to the uh, east as Cape May. I would see the 12 closer to Cape May, Southern Delaware probably closer to six, eight, somewhere around there. So I'll go six to 12, but again, there's, there's some bus potential there, it could be higher. Now, for most of you who probably are interested in this, and I'm talking Delaware County, Bucks County, Montgomery County, um, Close to Redding, Berks County, I, I think you're not quite in the major, major snows, but Delaware, Bucks, Montgomery, Philadelphia counties, all the way through where I live in Cherry Hill, up into Trenton, close to Tom's River, all the way to Atlantic City. Um, I'm looking at believe it or not 15 to 20 inches with this storm and there's going to be some lollipops in there probably close to two feet and maybe a little bit higher somebody might be able to pull off a 30 in that area especially if you're close to trenton if, or uh, a little bit higher up into uh new brunswick new jersey and those places they, they're going to see at least uh 15 I, I can't see them missing 15, and, the, and they're probably going to see closer to in the 20s, two feet. And like I said, chance for 30 up there. New York City, unbelievable. 
Absolutely unbelievable. 20 to 30 inches of snow in New York City. You heard me right. 20 to 30 inches of snow in New York City. Long Island, 24 to 36. Three feet of snow will not be out of the question on Long Island. Again, this is all according to the models right now. Southern New England, a little bit more. 30. Some places might see up to 40, maybe 45. Somebody might even get 48 inches, four feet of snow. It is within the realm of possibility. This storm is developing right now. We're, we're going to get hit with it first as a clipper. It's going to come through and then it's going to dig to the south. It's going to redevelop off the coast. Uh, not quite sure how far south it's going to develop, but it's, it's probably far enough south that it's going to um, be able to uh, last for quite a while as it comes up the coast. It's going to be moving very slowly. So if it develops off the uh, North Carolina coast or if it develops off of the Virginia coast, the further south it is, the better it is if you want snow up in the Philadelphia area. It's a slow moving storm. Um, so as it's bombing out off the coast, it's going to move very, very slowly up the coast and that's going to prolong the snowfall. There could be thunder and lightning involved, thunder snow. Um, when you get thunder snow, you could see snow falling at two to four inches an hour. And that's predicted right now for New York City. They have blizzard warnings up there. Uh, Philadelphia, I think there's a chance for thunder snow, but certainly more so as you move towards New York. So for my, the core of the people who visit this page, I know that you're in the five county Philadelphia area, Delaware County, Montgomery County, Bucks. Um, like I said, 15 to 20. I think me and Cherry Hill, we're probably going to hit 20. And there's a chance we could hit 24. Um, it's a very large storm. Can things change? Yeah, it's weather. Anything can change. But this is not hype. This is based on models. This is based on the Euro especially, which has been coming in with very high numbers. Um, just tremendous amounts of snow with this. This is going to be a record-breaking storm. The only thing that's going to stop this from being a blizzard in Philadelphia is the fact that they think the winds aren't going to be strong enough in Philadelphia. But I do think there'll be blizzard warnings going up along the Jersey Shore, and, and I think that will include Atlantic City at some point. I, right now it's north. There's a blizzard watch uh, and blizzard warnings for New York uh, and the uh, Jersey Coast up towards New York and up towards Long Island. I think that will be... Uh, push down south a little bit more. So it's going to be a record-breaking storm. Please check back. I'm going to be uh, updating periodically. I don't think I'll be doing videos uh, that much, but uh, certainly I'll be typing some um, messages in there. So this is a big one. Get ready. If you haven't gone shopping yet, you're probably too late. There's <laughs> probably people already uh, mobbing the stores. That's why I try to tell you ahead of time to let you know. So thanks again for the support and be safe out there in that snow. It's going to be tough.